Well, uh, welcome everybody. It's uh, 11.30 on uh, Wednesday morning, day three of MWC here in Barcelona. We're at Meet Mobility. And we're at the Intel stand in Hall 7. Hall it's 7. seven. Yeah. And uh, we're doing the third of our live sessions today. We're going to talk a little bit more detail about the uh, Intel Atom Developer Program, uh, the App Store, the App Store Framework, and uh, maybe a little bit about uh, Migo, which was uh, launched on Monday. My name's Chippy, I'm from Yamsupporter.com. With me I have uh, Sasha, who's my partner in uh, Meet Mobility. He's from NetworkNews.com. And in the middle here we have the important guy, this is Scott Appelt. He's the uh, director of the Intel Software Network at Intel. Morning, Scott. Good morning. We hope you can uh, answer some of the questions. We've got, we've got a set of questions uh, lined up for, yeah. for you here. And Sasha's going to uh, kick that off. I'll actually hand the mic over to you. Sasha will start answering the questions. I'm going to monitor the chat rooms. And if we get anything coming through the chat rooms, we'll, we'll fire that in, OK? That definitely makes sense. Well, thanks for being here, Scott. Um, thanks for inviting us over here to your booth uh, so we can start this sure. little podcast over here. Of course, we have a couple of questions uh, uh, regarding the uh, App Center, the Atom Developer Program. Um, so we set some up already. Uh, let's start very fundamentally. Uh, when did you guys have the first idea to also get another app store uh, online to start the App App Center? Sure. So uh, we've had for quite a while the Intel Software Network. And the Intel Software Network reaches about 700,000 developers today. But it's mostly about technology, uh, how developers can write cool applications taking advantage of new process processor features. Yeah. So we had it for a while, but it wasn't until about July uh, last year where uh, we started to look real seriously at an App Store model here and see would that fit for the Atom processor. And uh, we looked and said, you know what? There's uh, 40 million netbooks out there already. Not a lot of software that's being developed specifically for netbooks. But a great opportunity to help our developers get their applications directly in front of netbook users. So uh, the idea was born. And within 80 days, we essentially put together the Atom Developer Program, which is all about how to help developers get ready for the store. And then uh, another 100 days after that, we rolled out the App Intel App Up Center, which is the first storefront for netbook, uh, netbook devices, and rolled that out to just last month. Well, that was uh, during CS when you uh, when you were going uh, the public beta, that's and right. I think you that's announced right. it uh, for the first time during IDF back in September last exactly. year. That's right. So that's quite interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about how many people were involved in the whole project? Yeah, um, I think it's around. Oh, that's sorry. Yeah. Okay, I think it was about uh, 75 people were involved in the project so far. Okay. Yeah. So that I mean, so you've been working on this for. Uh, I think a hundred days and some nights too, I guess. Yeah, many, many nights as well. Uh, <laughs> but it was a fun project and it's the first time that, that Intel has really uh, provided a distribution channel for developers going straight to consumers. Right, so right. Uh, developers got really excited about this as well. It's a really good response so far. Well, talking about developers, can you give us some rough numbers? How many SDKs got downloaded right now and how many applications are already available on the App App Center? Sure. Uh, I think we've had around um, 8,000 uh, downloads of the SDK so far. Uh, we have both versions of Windows SDK and uh, Moblin SDK. Okay. And uh, uh, in the, within the first 30 days, we had 300 applications submitted from the store. So a really good wow. response. And uh, those primarily were applications that existed already. And they, they're not going to write a new application uh, from scratch in 30 days typically. Uh, but uh, now we're seeing developers start to do more innovative, creative things. And, yes. uh, I expect to see a lot more uh, new applications coming soon. So uh, we already said um, that, the, that the App Up Center is still in a beta version available. So why did why did you go uh, beta already in such an early stage of the development? Yeah, uh, we had a choice here. We could we could wait till everything was rock solid. We had thousands of applications already, and, and uh, then go out public. But you know what? We really wanted to make sure we got some good feedback while we're doing this, and that we tailored it for uh, for consumers and for developers. So we're we're listening closely to both sides, uh, the developer side. How can we make it really easy for them to go through the whole app application submission process? Uh, what kind of features are looking for in the SDK? And then on the consumer side, how to make this experience as uh, as good as possible, and so that the really it's, it's easy and, and simple for them to download and use good applications. So that means you have uh, a team around there taking care of the feedback, 
and it's getting all into the development of the app of Center. Exactly. Yeah, and we get we get lots of feedback uh, all the time on it, and we're actually looking at it and saying, okay, you know, what, how do we prioritize that, and where do we make the improvements? You know, at the end of the day, it's all about awareness and creating awareness that there's an app center or an app store around uh, for netbooks right now. Because uh, the feedback that I got on our site was also, hey, why do we need an, an app store for netbooks? I'm just going over to download.com and just downloading whatever I would like to. Um, so, um, you've also announced uh, some partnerships with a couple of the big players, means Acer, Asus, Dell, Samsung. So do you think that we uh, might see a customized version of the App Up Center from these guys and maybe pre-installed on all these network platforms? Uh, yes, uh, for sure. Actually, that's the, what we're seeing from the, the network uh, manufacturers is they're very interested in um, providing more value to their users and uh, helping them take advantage of applications. And that's where uh, a customized version of uh, the storefront, we, we, we call it the uh, App Up Framework for okay. OEMs. So they can take this uh, storefront, customize it for their look and feel and for their needs, but still pull from a large collection, a catalog of applications, and not have to um, put together a full developer program to support this. So OEMs have been very interested. Uh, we're looking forward to the first uh, uh, OEM-based storefronts coming out uh, later this year. And uh, that means that when you buy a netbook, you would already have the App Store pre-installed in it. Right. So, yeah, that sounds pretty interesting because I think by the end of the year we are roughly talking about uh, 100 million units in the market. Right now we have roughly around 50 million uh, netbooks uh, getting sold and uh, by the end of the year maybe about 100 million uh, netbooks. And therefore it's of course crucial for you guys you know, to get uh, connected to the big players. And I think with these four manufacturers uh, you're reaching out to a, a real mass market. Exactly. Yeah, and, and that the size of that market is what attracts the developers, of course. And they see an installed base of uh, 50 million units, and they go, huh, I can make uh, you know, a real business out of this right away. I don't have to wait for this to evolve. And as the more OEMs adopt this, they see a, a future that here holds a, a lot of um, opportunity for them as well.